Okay, my impressions of Woodburn. I'm scared of it. There are many areas that are scary. Alright, that's about 20,000 people. Half of that are Mexicans. And they definitely stare at you. They stared at me a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I, it, I think it's just how they are. It's like, I don't get that feeling like I'm being stared at um, from other people races so much lighter colored races even black people seem to have that that staring what's uh, interesting about them it's not so much the race either their, their eyes the, the the black well just the whole pupil and their eyes like if I look like this you could see white the white part underneath uh, their eye you don't see it with me even when I look up I gotta really look up you see that with them, it really gives them that look of fear. All right, if you study Chinese face reading, they they talk about that. It's, a, it's an adrenal thing. They they um, live on like a fear type of thing. Um, it it, it uh, forms their personality. Uh, but yeah, I just I didn't feel too comfortable in that area. I, I didn't feel comfortable walking away from my stuff at the library. Uh, I just didn't feel comfortable walking around the area in general, um, but it's it's unique, you know. I, I praise the Mexicans and their growing population. They live different. Um, they allow they they tend to seem to allow chick uh, like chickens to to roam the their land their their property a little bit more. I think so. I could be wrong. Maybe white people do that too. Um, the the city looked clean, you know. Even though even though the the population's half Mexican, um, they they do pick up after themselves, so it seems. But I will say that when I was at the park early in the morning, um, every morning because I wanted to work out, which was pretty much impossible, really hard to do. Um, I noticed that the uh, the crew, the like the the park crew, was there just picking things up left and right all right you know a lot of parks get trashed but it, it does seem like the park got trashed quite a bit more in this in this uh in woodburn in their park next to the pool they just they just don't seem to know how to get the trash into the garbage can but the 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 cleanup crew was there to every morning and to work hard to sweep the whole area um, I, I, I don't know what the, you know, I, my impression is that they don't, they don't clean up after the, the parks, but the, the yards look good, like they're, like there's a lot of good landscapers who, uh, put together the, the yards, uh, decently enough, at least. Um, let's see, yeah, the, the food bank, I, I could only take like a small percentage, a small, uh, amount of that, well, you know the monthly food bank for the that covers five to seven days of emergency food. It's all candy. It's terrible, and I was and I sorted through what I what I could take, and I, even the stuff I did take is still kind of nasty, kind of bad. I took this Trader Joe's um, coconut milk, and I got sick off of it because it's that bad. So they're not getting good stuff over there compared to other food banks. Um, it's just my impression. When I was turning stuff down, there was this really super, I'd say straight up Native American Indian, Indian lady sitting there watching me pick through it. She started grabbing for things that I was passing up on and the, the lady helping me, she had to like just push her away and just be like, no, 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 you know, and she had to get that stuff back behind the counter. That's the thing with the food bank, they don't let you... Um, go through like you're a, in a shopping center and with a person and pick out things they just bring things out to you I, there's a trust there's a serious trust issue at the food bank um, compared to the other food banks the Woodburn food bank they don't trust the people as much um, so there's that too there's there's really just this this lack of trust there but it's it's a clean looking city i parked and slept at the walmart parking lot um and, uh yeah that's that's uh, like the only well i did try i slept at the safeway parking lot one night too um 
but uh, let's see. Uh, I think yeah, just just uh, you know, it's it's the people that the there are some kind of trashy areas. Um, you know, you just want to avoid. The museum looks pretty neat. Um, let's see. I, I guess I guess that's it. It's it's, it's definitely it, there's a lot of graffiti in that city too. Um, surprisingly, um, they're just, there's, yeah, people love to do graffiti there. A lot of, a lot of, uh, Mexican signs. And, and there's this Russian, um, like, a presence too. The, the, the Russian, um, like, uh, refugees, uh, from the 50s. Um, there, there's some Russian signs, languages and stuff. Uh, I don't know why they do that, because there's Russians also in other cities as well, uh, in significant populations, but they, it seems like they're kind of snubbing their nose at all these, you know, because it's half Spanish speaking, they're also putting up that Russian stuff too, just to say, hey, you know, you know, the Spanish isn't the only language that, that's uh, in conflict with the English language or whatever, um, it's kind of interesting to me. Um, yeah, I'll stop here.